<laughs> what type of laptops would I recommend for their son in order to program in? And to be honest with you, in today's age, we don't necessarily need any laptop. Like every laptop is good enough. I think, maybe I'm wrong about that, but the majority of players, which is Dell and Mac OS, are, you cannot go wrong. I don't know, what the? Why did the balloon happen? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry for the lag. Yeah, you cannot go wrong with a Dell or a Mac. And just so you know what I'm using, I'm using a Mac um, 16 inch, one terabyte. It'll cost you about three grand. If that's what you're going for, Mac OS devices are the best that you can get as far as programming. Everything is just already set up for you. And it's very close to Linux. Linux, um, if you're using a Windows operating system, you can dual boot for using a Linux. That's what I used to do in a PAM. All you do is you download the USB, the operating system of Linux on your USB drive, which is, it's free online. And you put it in your computer. I'll probably put a link in the description below with different tutorials you can look at, but a Windows computer would be fine. If I had to give you one by name, I would say it would be the Dell XPS 13 or 15 inch. XPS, I'm gonna look it up right now. And... All right, let's pull it up like that. Actually, yeah, I think it's a little bit bigger. So Dell XPS is $600. It's probably um, the best you can get if you're on a budget. I think you can go a little bit cheaper with this. I've also programmed on the Chromebooks, um, Google Chromebooks, which is decent. It's not the best programming experience, but if you, if you were, if you want to like, give your son the starter laptop for his career, I would say the Dell XPS. Um, memory, like because there exists AWS and different cloud software, you probably don't need a whole lot of memory. Um, but I would deck that out. Probably, I would say 512 is a good mark for that. And keyboards, I think an underrated setup is having two monitors. It makes my productivity so much better. And I will be giving you a tour of my office eventually, but yeah. Let's see how much the Google Chromebook is. So if you wanted to go even cheaper, as far as what you are willing to spend on a coding laptop, I think the Chromebook, HP Chromebook, yeah, the Chromebook is a little bit, so Chromebooks are basically computers that were meant to use the cloud. And so if you wanted to um, just be, the way that they're set up is that they don't have a lot of processing power in the computer, but they have, let's say Google Drive set up so that you can use, store information in the cloud. And then on top of that, you can use something like Google Cloud Platform or AWS in order to run your different coding Workflows are. And yeah. And one more thing I want to show is the computer that I'm programming on right now. You can never go wrong with Mac OS for programming because it has it's built in Linux so that the experience of writing code is very similar to the if you don't know what Linux is, it's basically a operating system built by programmers for programmers and it's not as beautiful as a windows it doesn't have game development mac os doesn't have game development or good game development in it um, if you want to play games on it but it is a great computer for coding and yeah let's see 
MacBook 16 inch. Yeah, this is the one I have in three. And what's funny to me, I have the same computer for work, but sometimes still my computer crashes when I'm running different Java code. So perhaps, um, but the fan, the fan does not come on like with my previous MacBook. So highly recommend, wait, yeah, the 16 inch, that's the one I'm looking at. So yeah, as far as coding laptops, as long as you're using like the big three, which is Mac OS, Windows, Linux, you'll be good. If you wanna have the best coding experience that you can have, the easiest setup and the most overall value, I would say go for Mac OS. If you are a game, if you wanna, if you wanna like make, oh yeah, Mac OS for, is also great if you wanna do an, uh, uh, Apple iPhone apps or devices. The Apple ecosystem, which is the watches, all that. If you want to program on that, you need a Mac. If you want to be able to play video games, but at the same time, you want to be able to write code, I would say go for a Windows computer. Um, use your gaming laptop. It'll be fine. You can use Windows Live Server which will let you use the Linux terminal inside of your operating system. And if you want to um, have, if you want to be a hacker and you want to be like, you want something, you want to put something on your resume that you are a really elite coder. I'm not an elite coder. You are really like bare bones coder. <laughs> I would say, dual boot the Linux experience and then use that as your main operating system. Uh, especially if you're into like C++ and operating system programming. Um, Linux is just um, the best experience that you can hope for in that. And so, um, that's all I have for the coding laptops. Let me know, in the, uh, I'll always be listening to comments if you have any other questions, I'll be definitely willing to ask. And so I want to do a reaction style video for military style, um, military tech, which is emerging side of computer science that focuses specifically on what you need to do to get a job for the military. And it has a lot more benefits than the route to becoming an engineer or uh, a technician for the military is a lot easier than getting into a fame software degree or getting into a fame company, the Facebooks, the Apples, the Amazons, the Googles. You have to go through a lot of school, usually. Not to say, I have met people while working at Twitch who never got a degree and they were able to get in. Um, but those are outliers and they, it, the, that can be quite challenging to set up. So yeah, let's get into military tech bro. I'm listening to an app. I also noticed that like, I had an app blocker for YouTube and it was going real strong. <laughs> and then like, uh, Google said, hey, if you keep using this app blocker, um, we're gonna like, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, we're gonna terminate, we're gonna block you from using the YouTube player. <laughs> Quite sad, man. But it's all good. The video to the entirety, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Every comment helps me help other engineers have an easier career. And check me out. I'm live streaming every Sunday or every week. You want to stay in tune for that? It's a way where you can talk to a main level engineer or read. Come through. <laughs>